church, we're going to be looking in Romans 6. Now, you know, if you were in the service on Sunday that we read several verses from Romans chapter 6, and it is a beautiful chapter. And uh, we're going to be doing a baptism this Sunday. If you've not been baptized or if you were baptized but really didn't understand what it meant, you should go to our website, cfftucson.com, and sign up to be baptized this coming Sunday. Let me read the scriptures to you here today. Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Man, that's some awesome scripture, isn't it? It's it's an incredible challenge. It's letting us know like, hey, there's temptation out there. Sin is always trying to get us. You can't let your flesh and your mind, in your flesh, in your old self, take you places that you do not belong going as a born-again Christian. Instead, you need to give yourself over to God and begin to serve the leadership of the Holy Spirit in your life rather than your flesh. The surrender of self, the acceptance of the power of God, the Holy Spirit in your life, and you live a new life. And that's how it happens. It's written right here in the Word of God. It's a challenge for you and I to live this godly life, and we need to do it, church. The world is looking for an answer. Jesus is that answer. And if we live the way we've been called according to the Word of God, people will see their hope in us. Let's be his church. God bless you.